Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Touch by Natural <coughs> Arts and Crafts. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a sublimated canvas. Some of the items that you will need is scissors, heat tape, artist canvas from the Dollar Tree. I bought the whole pack, so that's why it's in this little nice little thing. Some laminating paper. Um, the brand I got is Scotch Thermal Laminating Pouches. So, we are going to take one pouch out. Before I get started, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'm so corny, y'all. Um, this is one of the ones that I did finish. Super cute. Oh, these pictures are not for sale. I am just using them for personal use and for video sake. Okay. So you want to take this, spread them apart, separate them, and we are going to cut the middle. So now we have two sheets. Don't mind my little happy birthday. Um, balloons back there. It was my daughter's birthday the other day. The other day. <laughs> okay, so now we want to take our picture. This will be the picture I am doing. Again, just for video's sake, not for sale. Now you want to take our canvas, place it down, actually, nope, <laughs> we want to take our canvas and we're going to take our laminating paper. So you want to take a laminating paper, make sure it's the shiny side up and the matte side is down. So we're going to take our canvas just like so, I'm going to just kind of line it up in the middle and then I'm going to cut it so you can actually cut this you could draw like a like a, a line around it and then cut it or measure it out however you want to do it but this is how I'm doing it y'all so I'm just taking it and I'm cutting around the edges to cut the excess out and then, okay and then edges, the rest of the edges are all. So I'm just holding it and then cutting it. You will need a heat press and you will need sublimation ink. Um, I use Cosmic Subla or Cosmos, however you say it. Sublimation ink and I have a Wi-Fi 7720 printer and I print it on 11 by 17 ASA paper. So that is cut. So now I'm going to take it over to my heat press. I'm gonna bring you guys over to the heat press. Switch you around. Okay. So my heat press is set at fifty. It will be set at fifteen seconds. So to laminate the canvas for um, the lamination paper, we want to set it at four hundred. 15 seconds, so I'm gonna change that. Making sure I don't burn my arm because I just did it for a minute ago. 
All right, so that's it to 15 seconds. So, um, I don't know, you can use burnout paper or whatever you want to use, but I use a Teflon sheet to place over the top. Make sure it's straight. What color is your toilet? And then I use a burnout paper over it. Huh? White. White. Who black charger is that? I don't know. So now, all right. So I'm gonna let that take its course. Here goes my little other picture that I did. All right, pull this out. It is very hot. So please, please, please be careful. Super duper hot and you need to let this cool so i'm just gonna take it over to the table really quick let that cool down y'all know i'm not gonna edit edited videos so please forgive me please forgive me so just one second don't take that long That is pretty much all the time that you need. Actually, I'm gonna need to bring you back over to the table. Y'all, and this ain't pre-recorded, I'm recording this, so. It's not one I already recorded and then I uploaded it and stuff, so no. Right now, our canvas is a little warped, but that's gonna be okay because once we put the picture on, we're going to sit something on top of it. You want to sit some heavy on top of it. So when it, um, when it cools down, it cools down and your canvas is flat. So what we want to do now is take our canvas and tape it down to our picture. So it's cool to touch. So I'm gonna place it on top of my picture and I'm gonna find a nice little spot. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take my heat tape. And I'm gonna tape it down, tape down the sides. Tape down all four sides. Reason being is because for whatever reason, if your picture does not transfer all the way onto your canvas, you will be able to press it again without it lifting or shifting. If you don't tape it down, you will have a 3D looking picture because of it shifting. So I'm going to just make sure that my tape is on here all the way. So, there we go. Now I'm going to take you back to the heat press. Swing you around and move you forward up. It's going to be all the way around. We want to flip it. Now I am just going to use my burnout paper. Again, I use U-Haul paper. I'm going to change my seconds to 30. So 430. 15 seconds for the lamination paper, 30 seconds for the actual picture. So I'm gonna pull that in.
very, very hot. Very hot. So please be careful. I'm just gonna lift it up, look at it, make sure, transfer what you did. So my next step is because this is hot, but the canvas is hot, but this piece of paper, since I left the edges out, I'm just gonna pull away my tape. My tape is gonna be used as tabs. So I'm gonna take off tape, take off your tape on all four sides. So the tape is not hot, so I'm using this as tabs. Here is the picture, you can see the shininess. So I am going to take this, I'm actually going to take my other tabs off, I'm going to just use this tab, and I'm going to carry it like this over to the table, and I'm just going to sit a laptop on it, which is heavy. So you just, anything, find anything heavy. Set it on the table. And I'm going to put the laptop over it. So that it will dry flat. This is what the end result will look like. Well, you guys already saw the end result. There is the other picture that I did earlier. That's already dry. I've already made it flat so it's not warped or anything. So that is how you make a laminated canvas. So please, 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 everyone, like and subscribe to my channel. Please hit the bell so that you can get all notifications um, for any other videos that I may post. Again like subscribe share comment whatever you want to do see y'all next time